Well, one of the remarkable differences between Nano T and, and a full-blown adult T. rex is the structure of the teeth. Um, Tyrannosaurus rex has these large, we sometimes call them banana teeth, in that they're certainly sharp and pointy and have serrated edges, but they're not really thin like the blade of a knife. Rather, they're more expanded like a banana. Whereas in Nano T, what we see are teeth that are indeed much more knife-like. They're, they're much flatter, uh, a little bit more sharply turned back or recurved, the kinds of teeth we see in other kinds of predatory dinosaurs. This suggests that while a T-Rex would crush bone, Nanotyrannus would tear through flesh in a slicing action. There's up to 17 teeth in this part of the upper jaw in Nanotyrannus, and there's only 12 or 13 in Tyrannosaurus rex. Well, that suggests to me that these are different species of animals and that these species are, in fact, valid. But other paleontologists conclude something different. Almost all the evidence, I think, points to it being a juvenile and almost certainly a juvenile T-Rex. However, there is some evidence in terms of CAT scans on the inside of the skull and some of the hollow chambers in that brain case that are a little peculiar in Anotyrannus. And that's another key difference between these two predators, the shape of their brains. CAT scans performed by Dr. Whitmer gave some surprising results. So when we did the CAT scan of T-Rex and, and Nano-T, it really looked like there were some, some striking differences. I mean, we can see some of those differences in the brain here. Here's a Tyrannosaurus rex. And when we bring up and look at the brain of, of Nano-T, we really see they're, they're quite different. Of course, they're, they're different in size. Nano-T was a smaller animal but really some of the differences go beyond size. The size and shape of the brain was not the only difference. Experts would also discover that the brain was actually positioned differently. The brain of, of Nanotyrannus is shaped in a very different way from Tyrannosaurus rex. T-Rex held its skull kind of like this, pretty straight on, where Nanotyrannus actually looked like this. And you cannot change, because that is buried deeply in bone, you're not going to change the orientation of those semicircular canals of the inner ear. So clearly, this was a different animal. This discovery proved that Nanotyrannus held its skull in a lowered position, making it easier to focus and strike at potential threats. The evidence clearly suggests that Nanotyrannus is its own species because there's enough distinctive differences between it and Tyrannosaurus rex to justify its name, Nano Tyrannus. Currently, Nano Tyrannus is considered its own species, a fast and aggressive predator that could hunt down and kill juvenile T rexes. It stood over two meters tall, was five meters long, and weighed about a ton approximately half the size and up to a sixth the weight of a T-Rex. But what Nano-T lacked in stature, it gained in speed. Nanotyrannus has much longer, more slender legs than Tyrannosaurus rex. That means this is an active running dinosaur. Even though Tyrannosaurus rex can run, he's not really designed to run all the time. Nanotyrannus is more like a cheetah on steroids. These animals were really, really fast. They could outrun a Tyrannosaurus rex no problem. And that also helped them when they're running down prey, of course, and so they could surround something and run it to death, basically. Nano Tyrannus was large enough to take on this juvenile T-Rex and certainly able to outrun its parents. Bones had been broken, but no bite marks were found on them. This can help determine that it was Nanotyrannus that killed the juvenile rex. As a smaller animal, Nanotyrannus would not have the same kind of bite force that a big Tyrannosaur would have. Its jaws were relatively longer and more elongated, and it had more teeth, and that suggests that it really never did develop the same kind of power that a Tyrannosaurus did pound for pound. Nanotyrannus would be a little more careful where it bit because it wouldn't have this great bone crushing quality that a, a full size rex would have. This could explain why no bite marks were found on the bones. Nanotyrannus did not have the jaw muscles or tooth design for penetrating bone. 
another hard look at the evidence would bring the scientists closer to the answer. When I saw the nanotyrannus teeth that were found next to the juvenile skeleton, I had a pretty good idea of what had happened. But since no bite marks were found on the bones, it was hard to say with any real certainty that the nanotyrannus had actually killed the baby. But then I took a second look at the teeth, and I realized that these were shed teeth. That means these were teeth that were broken off during the act of feeding. This means that nanotyrannus had broken his teeth while attacking this baby Tyrannosaurus rex.